We are on our way to Burlington, Vermont, where we're gonna be spending the next 24 hours. But on our way, we decided that we would stop in Montpelier at Morse Farm Maple Sugar Works. This is an eighth generation family maple farm. And it's a very Vermont thing to do. You, get, you, gotta, you gotta get maple syrup. And why not get it from an actual maple farm? So let's go, let's go taste some syrups. Before sampling, they asked that you come and watch this video about some of the history of the, the farm and just the process of how they make maple syrup here. And it is truly fascinating. One of their trees makes about 10 gallons for a season of sap. It takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of maple syrup. So it takes four trees to make one gallon of maple syrup. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick maths. It's really much more intense than I would have realized. Probably why so many maple syrups are not actually maple, they're just syrup flavoring. <laughs> With that being said, let's go sample some maple syrup. So this one's the number one, it's called Golden Delicate Taste. This is our lightest grade, this one if we're not really that into the maple flavor, not really used to it. Oh, that's nice. Had a maple good time, sampled some maple syrups, and uh... A maple good time. A ma it was, it was a maple good time. Montpelier itself is a really cute town. I'm sad it's raining today because we wanted to just walk around and hang out here. Um, but it's not the best day to do that. But it's so cute. There's like all these little steeples. There's this little river that runs through town. There are no McDonald's. It's the only state capital that doesn't have any McDonald's, which is kind of like a fun fact. And yeah, it's, a, it's adorable. I love it. I want to spend more time here, so I guess we'll have to come back. You gotta stop at the Ben and Jerry's factory. Can't take tours right now, but. <laughs> no, but we can still, still get come. ice cream. They have fun flavors that are in rotation that you can't get in the stores. And there's a little graveyard. You can pay your specs to your, your lost flavors. And there's like a little gift shop and, and yeah, just cool, cool cow vibes. So I'm into it. <laughs> and they're pet friendly, huh? Yeah. Blondie and marshmallow sky thing. Okay. I got coffee, coffee, buzz, 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 and one called Whiskey Biz. The question is were you Ben or were you Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> they have a bunch of very cool themed merch, including these lip balms that look like little tiny ice cream pints, which is adorable. I also appreciate that you can make your own tie-dye shirt at this booth right over here. And honestly, I wouldn't expect anything less from Ben & Jerry's factory than to have a stand where you can make your own tie-dye shirt. <laughs> Some of these I don't even remember. I mean, I guess I wouldn't remember the economic crunch. I'm offended that they won't even honor my favorite flavor with a headstone here. <laughs> R.I.P. late night snack. What is your favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor? <laughs> Curious. You a you a late night snack fan like me? 
Really is like, yeah. let's go to the car. It's raining. Get out of this rain, you guys. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. You guys don't have the sense of urgency you should. <laughs> that was a wet experience, but hey. We did it. We did it. We've been to the Ben and Jerry's factory and the ice cream flavor graveyard. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Burlington. Let's let's go. Let's go to Burlington. Carly's ready to go to Burlington. <laughs> here this morning starting the day off right with some maple lattes from Speeder and Earl's. This place is adorable. It's a cute little cafe that uh, has some, some great quality coffee and it's right across the street from the farmer's market which is where we are headed now. When we got into town yesterday we had planned to do a hike but the rain deterred that and I think the rain is going to deter that again today, sadly. We are supposed to have like a solid three hours before it's supposed to rain, but it looks like it's gonna rain sooner, sooner than later. It might. So this is a fantastic little farmer's market. Um, my friend and I actually came to Burlington a few weeks ago and just made our own little uh, road trip here. This farmer's market is great. There's all kinds of great gift options of like maple syrup and things like that. Really reasonable prices if you're looking to find some souvenirs to take home. We have one mission, and that is to get some cheese curds. Carly's about to get herself a little treat from this yogurt stand. It helps his cold. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, hey, you just silly kid. No, that's okay, and they, <laughs> and they like it. Someone liked that is <laughs> waiting patiently or not so patiently for another. One thing I did not expect from a farmer's market is to be moved to tears. <laughs> but we just stopped at this uh, this booth that um, they provide sailing excursions for free to people with cancer. So if you know someone in the Burlington area with cancer who would like to go on a three hour sailing excursion, I think he said you can bring up to like six people. Um, it's this place called Sail Beyond Cancer Vermont. and like. Wow, what a, what a cool thing that they're doing, yeah. so. We will leave the information, their website and everything in the description if you wanna check this out. Well, Carly freaked out about, about kefir. Cheese curds have been acquired. I would say that this farmer's market has been a success. All right, let's, let's, go, uh, let's go take a look at Lake Champlain. Hopefully this rain will hold off a little while longer because we have a couple more outdoor excursions that we would like to do today. Cheese curd acquired. Cheers. Cheers. Those are so good. There are all these benches along the waterfront where you can just sit and relax. It feels very peaceful right now. We came, we enjoyed the views. Let's see if we can manage to hit up Church Street before the rain sets in. Marketplace is this outdoor pedestrian only street that is covered with all kinds of different shops and restaurants. It's feeling very low key here this morning. I don't know if that's because of the rain or the fact that it's earlier in the day, or maybe a little bit of both. But when I was here on a Friday night, it was happening. It was packed, and we couldn't hardly find a table at a restaurant that was open. So uh, definitely a different vibe here this morning, but it's it's nice. It's like more chill here. It is a really neat area though. Like if you only have time to do like one stop in Burlington, this is it. Yeah, this is cool. This is it. This is the place. Shh, 
Did you know about Vermont's secret? I knew about Victoria's secret, but not Vermont's until now. <laughs> oh, flannel thong. I love that the top says open for joy. <laughs> oh. Now it's just straight up raining, so I think we're gonna call it uh, a day here. We do have a few more stops that we're gonna be making. And I'm excited about all of them. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, it's just a cute little one lane bridge. A little tiny bridge. It's really neat because <laughs> Vermont has over 100 covered bridges that still remain, which is a lot, especially when you consider that Vermont is, I think, the second smallest state in the US. It's not hard to find a covered bridge here. This one is called the Holmes Creek Covered Bridge, and what I didn't realize when we decided we'd make the trek to this one, is that it is right on Lake Champlain. Gorgeous views right here. This bridge was built circa 1870. And now we can say we've been to a covered bridge in Vermont. Let's keep going. This place is called Vermont Cookie Love, but we are here for one thing, the maple creamies. If you have never had a maple creamy before, then I'm sorry. You're missing out on a really <laughs> fantastic thing. They're basically like a vanilla soft serve, except instead of vanilla, they're real Vermont maple. Maple creamy. Yeah, yum. It's delicious. Yum. There's another covered bridge, how neat. We tried to do another very Vermont thing, which was go to an actual farm to get cheese. But sadly, uh, Schulten Family Farms that we came to, which I picked out because they have Dutch belted cows that make their cheese. Um, it looks like they're not open today, but it is okay because I did experience this once before. My friend Rachel and I, we found this adorable little farm, which I forget the name, but I'll, I'll put it here. They had a goats also. So they had like a goat, a goat cow's milk cheese combo that was really interesting. And we had a maple goat cheese, which I mean, I, that was good. I'm not the biggest fan of goat cheese. I, I think it has kind of like a pungent flavor. It does kind of. But the maple made it delicious. That was my favorite one. I so about that. That yeah, was good. just a cute little stand out in the middle of nowhere. We decided to step out and explore the town of Middlebury because not only is it a gorgeous little town, but it's actually not so little. And also the, the main but I was gonna say is that it's not raining, except I'm standing in a puddle and my feet are getting wet. It's really a shame that I, I flew the drone in rain twice and I seem to have broken it because this would be the perfect time to fly it in. It's just a very picturesque Vermont town and I feel like drone shots of this place would be like just beautiful. Dang it. I feel like the mist from the waterfall feels kind of nice. Despite <laughs> us dodging a lot of rain, the mist from the waterfall is a nice, pleasant. yeah, a nice pleasant exception. We still haven't acquired any Vermont shaped things. However, this cute oh, shop alley. has a no. little patio out back that has a great view of the waterfall. So that was pretty, pretty neat. Got a Vermont shaped thing. I think we've accomplished our mission for the day. It's true. Now we have to drive. Like five hours tonight to uh, I think Syracuse area. We are running out of steam. <laughs> we will see you soon. From where? I don't know. This is the part of the trip we haven't planned. <laughs> we'll see you soon.